you are the temple of God you're supposed to glorify God in your body here we see specifically that it was Abraham and Sarah being quickened to a younger age that glorified God the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrauss thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe down below and ring the bell and you will receive notifications when we put out new content if this isn't your first time here and you're blessed by this ministry then consider becoming a partner with us and there's blessings to partnership I'm gonna be talking about the Holy Ghost as God knowing him as God knowing who he is say who he is, who he is. what he does who he is. because he is someone and he does things mm -hmm. can you imagine that there's some things about the Holy Ghost in the person of the Holy Ghost that you've never heard yes the Holy Ghost is a person people that say that he's not a person what chance do they even have of getting to know him let alone what he does and who he is and how to walk with him and the more revelation we can have about who he is and what he does and how he thinks right the closer we can walk with him first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body say body, body. your body is the temple of who the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. So your body is is present tense the temple of what's a temple it's something where someone would go into right, right. if it's a temple of God you expect the God to go into that temple mm -hmm. say God, God to go into that temple into right that temple. what no you not your body say my body. my body my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost therefore glorify God in your body Amen. who are you supposed to be glorifying in your body the Holy, Ghost. the Holy Ghost he is God if you want to just hold your place there turn back to first Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 know you not that you are the temple of God right mm -hmm. sounds the same as the other verse and that the Spirit of God dwells in you mm -hmm. he's the Spirit God that dwells in you yeah chapter 6 verse 19 again what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's now you are a temple of God I'm a temple of God but I'm specifically a temple of the Holy Ghost That's right. we understand that the Holy Ghost is God mm -hmm. he's God in the earth today because guess what I'm in the earth today mm -hmm. it says to glorify God in your body mm -hmm. who are we glorifying the Holy Ghost oh, oh, oh you're not supposed to glorify the Holy Ghost then I can't do this verse of Scripture okay. if I want to do this verse of Scripture I must glorify God the Holy Ghost in my body mm -hmm. are you here yes. now glorify we can look it up means to ascribe weight to ascribe substance to to value to honor to worship who am I worshiping in my body the Holy, the Holy Ghost to magnify it's written as all these different verses in other translations and in other places the same word so I'm supposed to worship the God that's in my body am I twisting the scripture no we glorify God in our body so there must be a glory that we are to obtain and do that's going to be where in our body now let me ask you a question is your mouth part of your body yes. and if you were to ascribe weight to substance value honor worship and magnify the Holy Ghost with your mouth mm -hmm. what would that look like what would that sound like 
you'd be saying I worship you Holy Ghost I magnify you Holy Ghost are you here mm -hmm. I'm using my body my temple to magnify worship is your mouth party body yes. mm -hmm. if I'm gonna use my body to glorify God that I'm a temple of that's in me who's in me the Holy Ghost I'm going to be using my mouth to worship and glorify the Holy Ghost are you here yes. we got to ask the question what glorifies God in our body you know you got to think about this what glorifies God okay we got to first know who God is because whatever he is and does and has and wants to be a part of that is what glorifies him in your body is the Holy Ghost God mm -hmm. is he in your body yes. what this is the question what does him being glorified in your body look like so we can know whether we're glorifying him or not or what it might even look like to have him being glorified do that go him being glorified, glorified. in my body right clue it has something to do with your body can you see that I'm not I'm not making this up it comes out of this verse of scripture what does him being glorified in your body look like it must have something to do with your body <laughs> something about who he is what he does he's in there him being glorified him being magnified him being represented him manifesting in your body say that him yeah. manifesting, manifesting in my body what does that look like Genesis chapter 6 verse 3 says the Lord God said my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years so way back at the beginning we can see that the Spirit of God being with someone he said my spirit will not always not always right but when he is he's going to have an effect on that person yes. the Spirit of God being with someone is going to have an effect on that person and the Lord said my spirit which would have to be the Holy Ghost shall not always strive with man yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years mm -hmm. so we can see here the Spirit of God is having effect on the person to make him at least a hundred and twenty years mm -hmm. why would he connect the Spirit of God being with a person to the age of the person mm -hmm. he quickens them are you here yes. And so the Holy Ghost with you is equal to quickening your flesh and youth renewal it's what he does it's who he is John chapter 6 verse 63 Jesus said it is the spirit that what quickens it's the spirit that quickens spirit shows up what's he do quicken mm -hmm. what does quicken mean makes alive what does he make alive that which wasn't quite alive as it should be are you here yes. it's what God does he quickens we saw it back way back in Genesis chapter 6 that's pretty much towards the beginning of the Bible right mm -hmm. Galatians chapter 6 again we're gonna be talking about the Spirit of God who he is what he does the he that sows to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap mm -hmm. what's he gonna reap life everlasting if you sow to the spirit you will of the spirit reap a specific thing life everlasting or everlasting life so what is everlasting life do you suppose people in heaven have a good dose of everlasting life yes. I would argue that that's what it's run on people get there they may get older in years but their 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 body doesn't get older they're quickened that's youth renewal mm -hmm. the youth renewal. youth renewal that's what everlasting life is they partake of it there and I've got news for you we're supposed to partake of it here look if we sow to the spirit we shall of the spirit reap quickening yes. youth renewal it's something he does he quickens it's the spirit that quickens he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting 
it's the same thing that they're gonna have when they're on the other side they're having it on this side say I'm having it I'm having on this side, this side. Yeah why is it because that's what the Holy Ghost does and when we worship him we're part of his temple what's glorifying him him being able to manifest himself as one who quickens or gives you youth renewal and everlasting life can you see this if he has this effect on anyone it must be in him it must be him so whenever he's around this is what he's gonna do over and over we see him doing it he quickens it's who he is if you get next to him what does he do he quickens mm -hmm. it's the spirit that quickens when you sow to him you of him reap everlasting life which quickens well we serve a God who influences your flesh he has an influence on your flesh say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Has, an has an influence on my flesh, on my flesh. and what is he doing he's quickening he's renewing the youth does God do this yes. does the Holy Ghost do I'm showing you that this is really one of the main things that he does Holy Ghost quickens mm -hmm. makes alive I've showed you several verses of Scripture let's look at this one Romans chapter 4 verse 17 as it is written I have made thee the father of many nations before him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead mm -hmm. who's he who's he believing he's believing God who's it say what does it say God does God who quickens or makes alive the dead mm -hmm. and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead now Abraham wasn't dead was he but he was past the age of childbearing as was Sarah mm -hmm. what was he believing that God would quicken his physical body mm -hmm. now dead when he was about a hundred years old neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb verse 20 he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith what giving glory to God we started this out you are the temple of God you're supposed to glorify God in your body here we see specifically that it was Abraham and Sarah being quickened to a younger age mm -hmm. that glorified God here we see specifically that it was Abraham and Sarah being quickened to a younger age mm -hmm. that glorified God what glorifies God your youth being renewed Amen. is it something God does yes. and when you receive youth renewal into your physical body mm -hmm. right it glorifies what no you're not your body's the temple of the Holy Ghost he's in there what's he doing this is one of the things he does youth renewal is glorifying God in your body It's specifically said there did you see it am I making this up he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to God mm -hmm. youth renewal glorified God question why did God wait so long for Abraham and Sarah to be old why did he wait for them to be old now a lot of people would have different answers to this I'm just I'm throwing it out there hypothetically to get you to think he could have just zappoed Sarah and she could have been a super breeder had 25 kids right father of many nations obviously God's promise came to pass so why did God wait maybe he wanted faith a challenge maybe I doubt it it's not a challenge he likes to make the old new but he personally say personally, personally. we're talking about the person of the Holy Ghost likes to make the old things new all through the Bible quickening that's what quickening means making alive the fact is he did do it he did do it he went and did something to Abraham he went and did something to Sarah and they had children that they couldn't have before mm -hmm. renewed their youth it's forever part of your faith heritage that youth renewal is part of the promise of God mm -hmm. that you have how about Psalms 103 verse 5 what does that say 
remember forget not all his benefits verse 5 it says and renews your youth mm -hmm. this benefit is glorifying God youth renewal is glorifying God when you worship the Holy Ghost in your body it's connected to youth renewal it's something he does does he do it yes he does it let's go to Joel Joel chapter 2 verse 25 and I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten who's talking here this is God in our day it will be the Holy Ghost I will restore to you the years so restore if we talk about the word restore what is he doing if you had something that wasn't right and someone came in to restore it what would they do they would make it new they'd make it right and hopefully they make it look exactly new you'd be like I can't even believe that's the same thing mm -hmm. so let's look at this restore full recovery of that which was lost mm -hmm. they full recovery. full recovery how do you suppose Holy Ghost showing up and doing something I will restore cause a full recovery how does he do that We've seen I gave you a key all these things we've talked about up till now how does he do it he renews the youth of it mm -hmm. I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten he's talking about time can you see that mm -hmm. so over a period of time something happened say something happened, something happened. and he's gonna restore to what the years before so one of God's ways that he heals is to take something and move the time back to before it happened this is where this gets good I hope you can sense that so what is full recovery full recovery to what the time before it happened you ever have things you're like I wish that never happened mm -hmm. what does the Holy Ghost do he restores the time he restores to before it happened imagine before it happened what was that like so he rewinds he renews to before it happened I'll think about sin people you know if you're having a hard time with this think about sin what does God do when he forgives your sin does he just sort of smudge it out no he wipes it away as if it never happened are you here mm -hmm. he does that with sin guess what he does it with sickness and disease he really what he's doing is turning back the time to before it never happened and then you go well, well how do you not remember it remember he will not remember say he will not remember, he will not remember. why does he not remember your sins he put it back before they ever happened. he considers it before it ever happened mm -hmm. are you here yeah. it never happened say it never happened, never happened. say it never happened. it never happened well I think it did happen he's restoring to before it happened are you seeing this this is what he does he renews youth to before the problem ever happened or before the sin occurred I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten a good example of this some of our people that don't play video games would not know but if you rewind before a certain thing happened in the video game let's say you go to a certain place you're doing something in a video game follow me here and you're like shooting things or whatever and you ended up shooting a pretty bunny rabbit that you didn't want to shoot guess what you can do you can go back to before it ever you can reload the game to before it ever happened and guess what it's as if it never happened Are you getting this this is what he does I hope I can get you here sin is as if it had never happened sickness as if it never happened this is what the Holy Ghost does it's how he does it. I think we've missed it many times in thinking how God heals something this is part and parcel of how he does everything everlasting life that is resetting to before it happened oh God just doesn't remember it he looks at you as if it never happened because he rewound the time who am I talking about Holy Ghost things that people have never heard about the Holy Ghost this is how he do this is how the Holy Ghost do 
he rewinds the time he sets you back in time before it ever happened what would your what would the sickness look like before you ever got sick health, health. <laughs> not a trick question it would not be sick are you here this is what he's doing he's doing it right now he's setting you back to before it ever happened back there but better he restores to before it's one of the ways God heals more than we have ever thought possibly and certainly have been taught I'm telling you if you sow to the Spirit he will give you everlasting life everlasting life sets back in time before things happen you can make up your mind to know him yourself but the Holy Ghost lives in a perpetual state of youthfulness you can understand that right if we love, again we'll use the heaven example if you go to heaven do you get older you may get older in years but it doesn't age you mm -hmm. right if, if people were to see if Jesus were to appear we're not expecting him to be 2,000 years old right we don't even know what that would look like one of those mummies mm. mm -hmm. so the Holy Ghost personally lives in a perpetual state of youthfulness now I spend much time worshiping the Holy Ghost getting to know the Holy Ghost st studying about the Holy Ghost and being anointed to preach about the Holy Ghost Do you understand mm -hmm. and I'm telling you one of the things that he does to people whether he's healing them delivering them whatever he's doing is through the power of everlasting life and it happens to be youth renewal and setting back in time that's how he does it that's how he do that's who he is if you get next to him and you learn about him and you bump up to him that's the way he does things so the Holy Ghost lives in a perpetual state of youthfulness uncorrupted uncorrupted enthusiasm uncorrupted joy uncor uncorrupted curiosity and life and vigor and energy and ambition all of the things that you would ascribe to youthfulness because he lives in the perpetual state of youthfulness he chooses to live in the age of innocence uncorrupted he's the Holy Ghost he lives uncorrupted that you can call that innocence he chooses to live there and he sets you back in time so you can be before corruption are you getting this mm -hmm. literally the whole point of the gospel is to get us back in time to where Adam walked with God in the garden are you here yes pre-corruption he renews you have you ever heard of the Holy Ghost renewing you yeah he renews your youth he renews your mind he renews your spirit he renews you what is renew setting back before the corruption took place it's what he does it's who he is it's how he do mm -hmm. say ah the glory of youth ah, glory of you. what do you think of when you go the glory of youth you think of somebody that's strong somebody that's vibrant somebody that's full of hope full of energy full of life full of curiosity right mm -hmm. say the glory the glory. the glory of you there's a glory to youth we go from glory to glory we're supposed to glorify God the Holy Ghost in our body not from one age to getting older and worn out we're going from glory to glory the glory of youth why would that be because that's where the Holy Ghost lives in perpetual state of youthfulness mm -hmm. yeah like I said you can you can receive this or not I'm just telling you from what I've known and known and heard and trying to preach from the scriptures to show you that this is where it's at mm -hmm. I'm telling you Holy Ghost is very youthful he chose to be in a state of perpetual youth he's literally the oldest wisest being in the universe what age do you think he chose to be again make up make up your own mind he didn't choose to be the oldest being in the universe in a wheelchair are you here he could choose to be at any age or any state of being he's in the state of perpetual youth so what age would he choose to be if let's say he has a penchant for uncorruptibility and uncorruption he would have to be before the age of corruption are you here 
I'm trying to help you out here his first name is holy which means uncorrupt mm -hmm. so he chooses to remain uncorrupted that's who he is that's what he does first Kings 19 verse 11 and he said go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord and behold the Lord passed by in a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord uh, the Lord was not in the wind and after the wind an earthquake the Lord was not in the earthquake after the earthquake a fire but the Lord was not in the fire after the fire a what a still small voice who was that that was God the Holy Ghost speaking to Elijah in a what a still small voice now let me ask you a question if I had a strong burly bearded muscular man come up behind me and speak what would that sound like would it ever in any contemplation of any human being sound like a still small voice no no i remember years ago i was praying in the spirit i saw a vision of a future meeting that we'd be having and i heard the holy ghost speak to me he said did they come to see me and i, I was kind of taken back i understood what he was saying did they come to see me but the voice that came to me was not what I was expecting mm -hmm. it was the voice of a younger person mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say how old but do you understand mm -hmm. are you hearing this yes. it was a still small voice and it was in this inquisitive curious wondering of did they come to see me and it had that curiosity that you might ascribe to someone who was in a perpetual state of youth and innocence are you getting this mm -hmm. and I've seen certain things and I've heard certain things and I worship him well I, I don't know any of that stuff because you don't worship him if you worship him you start to learn more about who he is and he'll be able to reveal certain things to you are we getting anything out of this yes. if he is in a perpetual state of youthfulness and he's in you and he's gonna glorify you're gonna glorify him in your body what is the effect of that gonna be renewed youth yes. are you mad at me yet no. second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is take the veil away spirit. that spirit what spirit the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and where the spirit is Lord or where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty now if we're sowing to the spirit what are we gonna reap everlasting life this liberty must contain everlasting life and all of the liberties say all of the liberties, of the liberties that come from, the Holy Ghost come from the Holy Ghost are everlasting life. everlasting life but we all verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass or a mirror mm -hmm. the glory of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm so we're looking at the glory of the Holy Ghost as in a mirror mm -hmm. you know what a mirror is right yeah. it reflects back on you are changed into the same image mm -hmm. what if you don't know what his image is what if you don't know what he's like if you know that he is one that renews youth and you start looking at him and worshiping him in that image what's gonna happen to you you will be changed into that image from glory to glory and we've already seen that one of the glories is youth renewal if you see yourself in his image in the mirror you will be younger unless you're 12 then you'll be older he calls this a glory ah the glory of youth he chooses to be in a perpetual state of youthfulness you are his temple he's gonna quicken you according to his glory Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present uh oh again with the body mm -hmm. that you present your body which would include your mouth right mm -hmm would present your body a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto 
god god who in your body god the holy ghost i'm presenting my body to god the holy now god the holy ghost what does he do he renews youth he quickens he lives in the perpetual state of youthfulness mm -hmm. are you here and so when i present my body to him what am i presenting it to him for mm -hmm. so that he can glorify himself through this body yes. i will get younger mm -hmm. as i behold him present your body a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service there's another translation that says spiritual worship and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed which has to include your body because he was just talking about that transformed by the renewing again of what your mind mm -hmm. what are you going to start thinking like yeah. younger yeah. you're going to start thinking like he does you're gonna think younger you're gonna act younger you're gonna be younger be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God is the perfect will of God sickness and disease no, no. what does he do he turns back time so each one of these good acceptable and perfect he's setting the clock back mm -hmm. setting the clock back to before it ever happened say before, before. It, ever happened. it ever happened you call it that way so he's proving the good acceptable and perfect the young the younger and the youngest will of God Ezekiel 37 verse 1 the hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord hmm. set me down in the midst of a valley which was full of bones and he caused me to pass by them round about and behold there was very many in the open valley and lo they were they were very dry As the Bible specifically talks about people getting older is their bones get dry caused me to pass by them there were very many they were very dry verse 3 and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and I answered oh Lord God thou knowest <laughs> it was a good answer actually yeah, right. you, know. you know verse 4 again he said unto me prophesy unto these bones now look what's happening here he had to say something mm -hmm. before anything happened and we know that walking with God the Holy Ghost being his temple we walk with him by saying words we have to say things that's part of the deal he said unto me prophesy unto these bones and say unto them oh you dry bones hear the word of the Lord verse 5 thus saith the Lord God unto these bones is he talking to bones <laughs> I think he is he said to the bone look say unto them say say unto them oh you dry bones hear the word of the Lord thus saith the Lord unto these bones behold I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live and I will lay sinews upon you and you will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord what was he doing to those bones he was setting them back to before all of those things happened mm -hmm. who did it the Spirit of the Lord when did he start to do it after Ezekiel. after Ezekiel said something so Ezekiel had to be obedient to say what the Spirit of God was going to do mm -hmm. say I have to be obedient, to, be obedient to, say to say what the Spirit, what the Spirit of, God of God is going, is going to, do. to do what do we know he's gonna do He's going to renew your youth and he's going to set you back before certain things ever happened mm -hmm. did you hear that mm -hmm. the Spirit of the Lord is going to set you back before things ever happen that's what he does but you have to say it yeah. so let's just say a few things here say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, thank I thank you you are God you are in the earth today, the earth today. I, thank you I thank you that I am your temple I thank, I thank you that you are quickening me quickening right now in my physical body, physical body renewing my youth, renewing my youth. 
I speak to you cells I speak to you bones I speak to you ligaments I call all of your youth renewed and we give you glory Holy Ghost as your temple in Jesus name amen, amen. say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I thank you I thank you. you are God in the earth today I thank you that I am your temple I thank you that you are quickening me right now in my physical body renewing my youth I speak to you cells I speak to you bones I speak to you ligaments I call all of your youth renew and we give you glory Holy Ghost as your temple in Jesus name amen ghost your God in the earth today